You mentioned that you, you have to use unsafe in the firmware and that I've heard a, a bunch of times from embedded people, but I guess I've never really uh, dug into that. Well, you know, and this is uh, coming from, you know, I'm, this used to be my bread and butter. I used to be an FPGA and, and firmware programmer. Um, at the end of the day, right, like when you're interacting with hardware, the hardware devices, like, a, um, you, you know, you're working with a microcontroller and from the manufacturer, you get a register list as part of the hardware construction layer, right? And you're just, or, or even as just part of the register map. You want to go, and they say if you write this register, it'll set these bits and it'll turn on this part of the machine, right? And there's no way for the Rust compiler to know that it's actually going to work the way that it, the manual says, right? So uh, a lot of times when you're when you're really minutely dealing with the hardware, uh, you have to just trust that it's going to do the thing that you want to do, and be really careful with your um, error handling to bubble up errors for when when things don't work the way that you expect them to. Um, so, so for that, you do have to use a little bit of unsafe, but the, the challenge for embedded uh, firmware development in Rust is to get above the hardware abstraction layer as soon as possible, so you can then utilize the full features of the Rust language.